I've heard it been said that auteur directors are always making and remaking the same movie, and I think the same can be said about Keitai Takahashi. He's the game designer behind Katamari Damacy, Nobi Nobi Boy, and Watam. I'm a big fan of Katamari Damacy, and I'm really enjoying Watam, but it's really hard to explain why because it's so weird, and games are so much about the experience of playing them anyway. That's hard to get across in a review because they have to be so broad and comprehensive, and I really want to talk about some specific weird stuff in this game that I'm enjoying. So although I certainly could look at the whole forest, I actually want to talk about some specific trees. Twelve specific trees. Get ready to get funky because the music absolutely slaps. The jazzy, swingy samba beats from Katamari are back and they are as fresh picked as ever. About a minute into the game, we are treated to this cut. La, 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 hmm. la, 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 this is like the emotional equivalent of when you eat something really sour and you get those tingly feelings all over your jaw. It's just so good. And not only are the tracks pure bops, but it has a dynamic soundtrack. When you switch between characters, the instrumental track also switches. It took me a few minutes to realize this because it is so seamless, but once I did, I found myself gravitating to certain characters just because I liked their beats more. I love Nose. It made me so curious what Katamari would have been like if it had had a dynamic soundtrack, where like, depending on what things you pick up, the tone changes. Like picking up cars gave you strong brass, and matches provided like a sassy bass line. It's a real missed opportunity. The font is also childish and bubbly and extremely readable, like the font in one of my favorite puzzle games ever, Baba is You. It's not Comic Sans, but it's like Comic Sans adjacent, and Comic Sans gets a bad rap anyway because it's a perfectly readable font. It's got a purpose, and that purpose is Watam, a joyful font for a joyful game. Then there are the header titles, which gave me a vibe kind of like the descriptions from Donut County. They're short bursts of personality and energy, even the ones that sound like a monster from a cosmic horror story. And the big titles that pop up when some new friends arrive are like the opposite of a Wish You Were Here postcard. Welcome back, Ducky Floaty. Katamari Damacy was about a lonely figure surrounded by things. Watam is similar, except that those things all have cute little faces and they make sweet little baby noises. Boogie, boogie, boogie. Is Keita Takahashi lonely, or does he just lament a world in which we love possessions and reject the company of others? Is personifying these objects a way of bridging that gap and reminding people of the joy of playing with other people? Either way, Takahashi-san, pinpani nate kudasai? It's not that the story in Watam is obscure, it's just that comparing Watam's story to any other game's story is like comparing a smiley face to a Frida Kahlo self-portrait. It's the most simplified version of a story, it's like the Joseph Campbell Urtext. Watam understands that its story is secondary to the gameplay, so it doesn't really yammer on about it, and I appreciate a game that doesn't waste my time. I struggled with what to call this color scheme, which will look familiar to Katamari fans. It's this sort of warm, vibrant, neon pastel jewel tone. It's the palette of summer. It's like the color of blowing a big bubblegum bubble. I've mostly settled on candy-like, because the shape and color and loose animation remind me of a big bowl of mixed gummies you'd serve at a party in seventh grade. Part of this is the matte finish on everything. I said real-time ray tracing 9,000 times in videos this year. And I'm gonna say it 9,000 times next year, because it is exciting that shininess is being upgraded in the next generation. But everything in Watam has a matte finish, and boy is that nice to look at. It's very soothing, like a cool cotton cloth draped across the eyes. Aside from the color and gameplay style and music, part of why this game feels contemporary to Katamari Damacy is because of this specific rotary phone. In a 2019 game, an early mission is to retrieve its handset from the sun, who wanted to call the bowling alley. Maybe there are some smartphone characters later in the game, but I highly doubt it, because Takahashi is trying to capture the feeling of being young and playing with toys, and he didn't have a smartphone toy as a kid, so why should you? A lot of the characters have special powers, like the mouth that turns things into poop, or the toilet that turns poop into other poop. Sometimes you need to use specific characters to complete puzzles, but mostly you can be whoever. I like the tree characters, because they're just the Wispy Woods from Kirby. 
Walking up to each character and saying hi sets off a burst of adorable sounds that feel very interactive. It's like when you're in a game waiting room and you emote and then everybody else emotes in response. It's just good, pure, wholesome fun. I'm also playing the anti Watam right now, Dark Souls. And both of these games ask you to sort of goof around with their controls until you understand each game's internal logic. And whereas Dark Souls will punish you for experimenting in a way that makes you shrug and go, oh, Dark Souls. Watam rewards you each time you say, well, well wait, what happens if I try to eat the mouth? I'm a big fan of experimentation as a form of play because it reflects the ways I most enjoy learning, and I really enjoy learning. So this is like a Jenna specific form of gamification, and it really hits my buttons. If you want to know what it's like to play with Tom, stand up and bend at the hips like you're going to touch your toes, but just dangle. Let your head and your shoulders and your arms go limp and just stay like that until your whole body feels more relaxed. This is what Watam is like. It's loose, it's limber, and it's very forgiving because the purpose is fun and experimentation. Low stakes? No. No stakes. All of that said, the game is so flavorful, it can be hard to take for more than like an hour at a time. It's like saccharine motion sickness. But it is an antidote to seasonal affected disorder. It's like a vitamin B shot in the form of a game. And if you liked Katamari Damacy, I think you're gonna like Watam too. What time?